Hey guys, it's Melanie and welcome to my monthly home fragrance empties. If you are new to my channel, at the end of every month I do empties videos and I divide it up by home fragrance and beauty empties. So tomorrow I'm going to share with you the beauty related things that I've finished off during the month of April, because it's April. <laughs> um, so I do this every single month and honestly this month is probably the smallest home fragrance empties that I've ever done. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. I think it was because I was using a lot of different wax melts and wasn't finishing the bars necessarily. I was just kind of jumping from one to the next. Um, to the next and then I would put the other ones away like I just I didn't feel like the need to Finish things the way that I normally do. So anyway, that does mean that I have a bunch of half-finished bars sitting around from Scentsy and Swan Creek and Everything else, but um anyway, there's a few candles in here Which I will start with the first of which is actually my Georgia peach candle, which I just got to about mmm I'd say I have about less than a third of it left in terms of wax and it started to get a little bit sooty so I went ahead and put that one in my candle crock so that one's going to be in my candle crock for the next few days. If you're new to my channel and you don't know what a candle crock is I'm going to link a video down below in the description box that will totally explain it for you. Um, it, the candle crock is amazing for candles that are either messy or sooty or just don't perform well. Most candles actually perform a lot better in the candle crock. You're essentially like melting it versus burning the candle. But anyway, check that video out. It'll explain everything to you. So right now I have that Georgia peach in there to just finish it off. It's probably going to be done in a couple days. So anyway, the other Bath and Body Works candle that I actually finished from that same collection is the Honey and Tangerine. And I like this one so much that I actually ended up getting two backups of it because it's such a lovely soft fragrance and I really liked it during the springtime. So I did do an in-depth review of this. I'll go ahead and try to remember to link the in-depth review down below. This is still for sale at Bath and Body Works. I don't think they're having either a two for $24.50 or a $12.50 candle sale right now, but um, they'll probably have another one this weekend. So um, at any rate, this one is definitely worth checking out if you can get your hands on it. It's, it's just a really pretty soft um, honeyed tangerine type scent. There's a definite citrus note in it, but it's not like a harsh citrus note. I like this and the rest of my family seem to really like it as well so fantastic. I have two of the Creamy Nutmeg in here and Creamy Nutmeg is one of my favorite scents from back in the Slatkin era days. They just recently re-released this during the holiday time. These basically have no scent left in them um, but it's this really nice like sugared almond nutmeggy creamy vanilla goodness type of scent I guess that's the best way to explain it um it's I don't know that it's exactly like the original but it's it's close enough um I have several backups of it it's one of those candles that I can really burn year round it just is a cozy home type scent so anyway I had two of these going this is a slightly lighter scent so two was a better fit for my downstairs and both of these did end up in the candle crock to finish off their life and you can see it, this one's a better example when you put candles in the candle crock it does melt the glue on the bottom of the um, wick holder things these little metal things down here and so your wicks will migrate and that's one of the main reasons why you don't want to light a candle after you've had it in the candle crock. You're basically just going to kiss that candle goodbye at that point. You're not going to relight it because you can cause this glass to explode. So don't do that. <laughs> Once you've made the decision to crock a candle, it stays in the crock and then it goes bye bye. So anyway, I just want to put that out there because I feel like that's an important thing to point out. Um, 
especially if you're not familiar with home fragrance stuff. Okay, let's talk about some bars that I have in here. Melon Apple Granita from Scentsy. This was really sweet. It's like a fruit punch type scent. It's very sweet, very strong. Something that I think would be great for summer. This was the scent of the month from either Feb March, February or March. I'm terrible, I can't remember. I know it's not the April scent of the month, so I wanna say it was possibly March. Anyway, it's really nice. Uh, you can still get your hands on it. I'm going to put my friend Lisa's um, YouTube page down below. She is one of my best girlfriends and she is also my Scentsy dealer, <laughs> supplier, if you will. So I buy all of my Scentsy stuff from her. If you don't have someone that you purchase Scentsy from, go check Lisa out. She's really great and she's very honest and she's not pushy, which is something that I really appreciate. Um, she never forces me to buy something. <laughs> and I think that can be the like the case with a lot of direct sales type things and she's she's just never been that way even before we became friends she was never ever pushy with me um but anyway this is really nice if you like fruit punch like really sweet fruity scents this is one worth checking out i have pistachio ice cream so this was my second pistachio ice cream that i had ordered and burnt and melted not burned melted and it was a dud again. So what I have unfortunately found personally with the newer scents is that they are, they're very quick to like finish. So when I melt my Scentsy wax and really any wax, when I put the cubes in, I leave that warmer on like 24 hours a day until the fragrance is gone. I just, I don't turn them off at night. I just leave them on. <laughs> that might seem wasteful to some, but it's just the way that I like to do it. And this one petered out after like one day. So one 24 hour like melting and the scent was gone, which sucks because it's such a great pistachio, vanilla, creamy ice cream scent. I feel like you can even almost get like a slight waffle note from this as well. It's amazing. It's an amazing scent. It breaks my heart that it doesn't throw for more than a day. <laughs> so I'm not going to order anymore because I just, I kind of figure after two, like, something's wrong with the formulation and they obviously haven't fixed it yet. So no more of that for me, but I do love the scent. Um, I have Simply Vanilla here. I really like Simply Vanilla. This is just a more perfumey type of vanilla. It's not like a foodie vanilla bean type scent. This one's really nice to mix in with other um, scents. So do a cube of this with, you know, something else. Right now I have this, one cube of this going with Give Me Passion Flower in my bedroom. And that's a really nice combination. It sort of tones down really intense, either sweet or florally uh, scents to a level where they're not like headache inducing for me personally. So this one's really nice. If you've never tried Simply Vanilla, I would really recommend it as a good mixer with other scents. Uh, cotton Candy Cookie. Really like this one as well. In fact, I would mix Simply Vanilla with Cotton Candy Cookie because this is not what you would think it is originally. This is actually kind of perfumey. It's like a blue raspberry perfumey sweet but also musky type of scent. That sounds weird, but it's like a sweet muskiness. Um, you really honestly have to smell it. I think it smells really good. It's great by itself, but it can be kind of strong. So one cube of Simply Vanilla mixed with one cube of this was perfect. It sort of subdued it a little bit, made it almost prettier, um, not quite as sweet. But this is really nice. I would definitely repurchase this one. And this one had good throw and lasted a solid five days. So that was awesome. I wanted to try the salted pistachio sorbet to be able to compare to the Scentsy pistachio ice cream. So, um, and truthfully, these are, they're pretty similar. They're not exact, but This one is slightly sweeter than the pistachio ice cream from Scentsy. 
But truthfully, same performance on these. Um, usually the Better Homes and Gardens wax melts, which you can find at Walmart, will usually last me one 24 hour melting. Um, and I just, I know that to be the case, but these are only $2 a bar. These are obviously $5 a bar. So if I'm gonna get the same amount of melt time with for a very similar scent, um, if I want more pistachio scent in my future, I'm probably just gonna buy this from Walmart. Um, so if you're looking for a dupe, <laughs> it's close enough. Um, but normally I prefer the quality of Scentsy over the Walmart wax, even though it's a little bit more expensive because I actually get a longer melt out of these bars than I do out of these, if that makes sense, even though these are cheaper. These last longer, so they're worth the investment. And then I have three more here, and that's it. I mean, this is kind of... This is a sad showing for me. <laughs> I have these from the Celebrate Home um, website. I did do a, a video dedicated to this a couple weekends ago. Um, if you want to check that out, I think it was like two Saturdays ago. This company had sent me some of their wax melts and a warmer to be able to review. Um, the wax melts I think are good. The warmer was not good at all. Would not recommend that. But this is the scent... Vanilla Sugar Berry. I love this, and I do want some backups of this. This was really nice. This is a sugared berry type scent with almost a tea note. It's really hard to explain, but for those of you that like tea scented candles, I bet you would really like this. It's not straight up tea though. Like it definitely has that sugared berry type note to it. And just a hint of vanilla. I think the vanilla tones it down just ever so slightly. But this was really nice. I love this. And when it was melting, it was just it was a great summertime type scent. So I would really highly recommend this scent. So again, vanilla, sugar, and berry. Blueberry biscotti. Okay, this one was interesting because I actually, I thought this was pretty nice. But my husband thought it smelled like vomit. I'm not even joking. He came home from work one day and he was like, why does it smell like barf in the house? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he goes, it, that, whatever that is, turn it off. It smells disgusting. And I honest, I don't know if there was something wrong with his nose or his brain, but I mean, it does have a slight, maybe ever so slight blueberry acidic type note in it, which I guess you could translate to vomit um I don't know anyway I went ahead and finished melting this <laughs> early on in the day and then made sure to turn the warmers off before he got home from work and cleared the house out I would open the windows up so I was able to finish it but I would never repurchase it because I mean if he thinks something smells like vomit I don't want to have that going in the house um my husband isn't too terribly interested in home fragrance. He sort of puts up with it because he knows that I really enjoy it, but it's totally not his thing. So um, I'm going to pass on blueberry biscotti in the future because I, I don't want to make him smell vomit. <laughs> and then the last one was the creamy vanilla, which was good. Um, it was a good basic vanilla, but I've had other vanillas that are better. So um, anyway, that is... That's not something that I would really like reach out to or like seek out to purchase again. So I think my daughter just tried to come in. Anyway, that's it. That's all that I have for you guys for the April empties. Um, I have a feeling that there's going to be quite a few things during the month of May because I have a lot of, like I said, half finished bars laying around. So those should be getting polished up. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know what you finished this month in terms of home fragrance. And thanks for putting up with this hideous brown and pink hoodie. It's really cold today for some reason, and I was like freezing <laughs> right before I started the video, so I just grabbed this. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow in my beauty favorites. Take care. Bye.